Welcome everybody to Show Runner. Pleasure and honor being with you today. No music. Don't know why. That's just how it is right now. <laughs> so you're gonna listen to me for a sec. Welcome to Show Runner. What is Show Runner? Show Runner is create and run your own TV show. This is what I live for now, right? This this this, this is a game I needed. Um, this game is a management game where you craft scripts, populate your world with characters and cast actors to play them, hire and manage staff, and develop your studio and gain a dedicated following. Oh, this is going to be fun, I feel like. We're going to make some, like, we're, we have to make some references in this game, right? I'm going to be relying on chat today to bring up some great, uh, great, uh, you know, good stuff. <laughs> good humor. This is developed and published by Inexplicable Games. Inexplicable couple games and explicit cable games in a it's developed by them it comes out early access on january 17th uh 2023 so what maybe like a week or so away i've been given early access to this game thank you for the dev team for handing out a key 10 days exactly this game will come out for early access thank you for the dev team for sending me a key yo Hang on a sec. <laughs> Thank you for the dev team for sending me a key. I really do appreciate that to check out the game pretty early here. Uh, if you enjoy what you see in today's uh, stream, please make sure to uh, add it to your wish list and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy what you see. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. By the way, thank you, Zombie Slayer, for 13 whole months. That is a lot of months, a lot of support. Says, hey, Cans, I'll be lurking. Hope you're okay with the weather. I am doing good. It's raining hard, but... It's not raining men. Hallelujah. It's not raining men. Uh, and thank you, Bradley Seep, for becoming a member right there. That was very kind of you. And a tip for good measure. That's very, very generous of you, Bradley C. After today's tr stream, please make sure to go and check out all the members' live streaming videos by going to the homepage of the channel and scrolling all the way down and checking out those videos for sure. Other than that, hello, Black Raver. Alex, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, Chulu, how you doing, Chulu? Alex, Ambers, Michelle? Amanda, Jade, Taz, Crazy One, Naomi, Jasmine, Susan, Yeah Gaming, Chelsea, what's going on? Mia or Maya, probably Mia, right? Susie, Fitran, Danielle, Nancy, uh, and Yorkie with Mike, and uh, Avalon with Helen. Yes, how y'all doing? Hope everyone's doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you all. I don't know why there's no music in the beginning here, but it is what it is for the most part. So, yeah, it's all good. Um... I changed glow color. I don't know what this means, but I'm going to go with blue. Uh, there will be a tutorial, hopefully. So I checked that on. Um, the music vo volume is there. So we'll have to see as we go into the... It's probably in, in the game. I, I'm, I'm excited. Let's let's do it. Come on. Stop talking. Let's. Oh, there's the music. You hear that? Now, now we're into it. So now we have to create our own studio, I guess. I'm going in this completely blind. I have not touched this game yet. Uh, first thing I see is I should probably pause time down here. That that would probably help. So, yo, James, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. How you doing? We have the greatest studio, right? Uh, what is our studio name? Down Love Studios? Our Mountain Studios? Come on, we have something in chat, right? Something, something, something. You got to give me something. We know about this. Come on. I'm good. I'm good, James. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Let's actually try to find a logo as well. Um... So I'm going to find a logo logo while y'all think of some names for the studio that we're about to uh, get into here. Yo, that's like universal. What is this? Okay. Glasses? Well, maybe actually. <laughs> I was going to say no glasses. There's 15. This is a guy with eyes or a triangle or this is a Dorito with eyes. That's a camera. That's a, a film wheel. That's I don't know what the heck that is. I... I? Light bulb, that, that, lion's head, that, <laughs> that. Okay, they're okay logos, I guess. Nothing too crazy. I kind of like that, right? The Bella Forehead Studios. Okay, now we're cooking. The Cans TV, the KTV. Good to see you. How you doing, Russell? What's going on? Cans Laughter Studios. The Forehead TV, Forehead Studios, Forehead Films. Okay, I'm liking that. Forehead Films. Forehead Films. Forehead Studios. Actual with the four in the head. All right, there we go. I think I go with the glasses, dude. That's what I do. I kind of like the uh, 
before and then the head you know how like studios are right they have like some crazy like is that oh god is that how you spell studios they have like some crazy name or something they'll have like there'll be like a like a production i i want pause please thank you uh there'll be like some kind of like production company where they're like red line on the floor or something you know something weird or something rather <laughs> i don't know i kind of like this you can't change the colors i i do have to say i wish there was more uh customization here um who knows maybe there will be you know early access when it comes out right so i'm kind of liking this hey Ainworth, how you doing um let's do <laughs> hire someone and name them ron burgundy <laughs> that'd be pretty good let's do that uh create a show all right we're out we're already jumping into creating a show do we have any, uh, dude, we could do, like, Modern Family? We have Sci-Fi? Espionage? Okay, we only have a certain unlocked, I think. We can't do Crime, Superhero, Post-Apocalypse. We could do Office, Modern, Historical, Family, Espionage, fa Fantasy, and Sci-Fi. You could do, like, Modern Family. Medical, you could do, like, Grey's Anatomy, yo. The Office, obviously The Office. Uh, you can make it a genre. Thriller, comedy, horror, dramedy. I didn't even know that was a thing. Dramedy, I guess. Drama and comedy. What would be considered a dramedy, I wonder? Action, uh, procedural, procedural, uh, mystery, adventure, or a saga? I guess, I don't know. The Office, would you consider that a dramedy or a comedy? That's a hard one. So we're going to create our first show. Show. What, what are people thinking here? Can you name some of your hires after the members? Yeah, if I if I if I can if I can name people, I would definitely will name people. Yeah, if if it'll let me name people, I definitely will for sure. Drama, drama, yeah, drama is comedy. Would that be like in The Office? Because there's like a little bit of drama and comedy in that, right? You're excited because I just became a member. I know it's great stuff. Thank you very much, Bradley. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Do a fantasy comedy. What would you make to show a fantasy comedy? Okay, so you have like stat importance too. So you have like the plot, characters, visuals, comedy, drama, and action. If you did like a fantasy comedy, you're looking at the characters and the comedy. The drama, the action, the visuals, and even the plot are not really that important, I guess, in a fantasy comedy. Right? Fantasy dramedy, even better. So for a fantasy dramedy, you're looking at plot, characters, not so much visual, uh, comedy, drama, and not so much action. So in a fantasy dramedy, visuals and action is not really one to go. Yeah. I'm thinking we go fantasy dramedy, right? I mean, we're testing it out, right? We're testing it out to see what it's like. We could test it out. What would be a fantasy dramedy thing? Give me a good name for it. Bright Belief, White Church, Wandering Unbound, Close Crime, Ultimate Tavern, Our Frost, Great Crew, Greatest uh, Comp... Comp... Uh, Comp... 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 Contemplation, contemplation. It's freaking ten in the morning. Honest moonlight. Sorry, eleven in the morning. South Prince. The Bella the Barbarian. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking. Let's do the fantasy dramedy, because Bella can be kind of like you know, drama, but she's also funny. So Bella the Barbarian is probably where we're going at. And let's create this kind of show that we have here, so to speak, I guess, right? We're creating a show. Now we need to select a contract. We would like to offer you the following contract for your show. Depending on the success of your show, we may renegotiate a contract for additional seasons after this contract ends. So basically, I guess we're kind of sitting at like a, um, you know, you, you work a pilot in. Uh, I guess in this case, they want to do a full one season. If they, if people like what they see and they're like, okay, this is dope, we'll go up for, we'll sign up for season two, right? The Halo series. I think of the Halo series. Everybody kind of, let's be fair, shit it on the Halo series, and then they're like, let's get rid of the director and do another season. <laughs> All right. So there's the digital hedge, hedge, hedge money, I guess. The digital hedge money sticks, Streamwatch, Rune, Goose. Okay, this is already kind of sick. So everybody wants to give us season one, 10 episodes. They want to already give us season one, 10 episodes with the name of Bella the Barbarian. Who doesn't, right? Exactly. Um, now payment, for the entire season payment, they'll give us a thousand. They'll give us 150 for each episode. They will also give us a bonus payment of 
for every 500,000 viewers, 20. Uh, for every half star on average review, 20. A bonus payment for every two star and above average, uh, 75, I guess. That's pretty like uh, straightforward for everything else. Uh, except for this one, this one gives a better payment up front, uh, weaker payment per episode, stream watch. Ruin gives us a big payment for season payment, episode payment, but kind of uh, does lower payments for like if you hit bonuses, which I'm all right with. I don't care. This is heavily into bonus. I think I might go with Ruin. I like the money up front, the uh, season payment, and then the episode payment. If I can hit the bonuses, great. It's not going to be like make or break, I don't think. That's what I'm kind of thinking of. I'm thinking Ruin is the way to go. All right, so welcome to Showrunner. Thank you for checking out this early access build of Showrunner. Now that you've started your studio and your show, you'll need to start making some episodes and finding an audience. First of all, you'll need to hire staff. In particular, you'll need at least uh, one writer to create scripts for the show before any other production can take place. So go to the staff screen, the writers, then press the staff search button. Choose a level one search and you'll be presented with a number of possible candidates in the sidebar. You can scroll left and right through the options, taking into account their skills, classes, fame, and wage demands. When you've found the perfect writer for the job, press the hire button. You can hire up to four writers currently with up to three able to work on a single script at any one time. So you can have three writers on one entire script, is that right? I feel like that sounds kind of expensive, no? So up here, let's see, what do we have up here? It looks like we have we have $1,200 or so, 100 script points, and 200 persona points. Very well. So let's go to staff. We want to go to writers. We want to hire a writer, right? Staff search. We only have one level one search, right? This is going to cost us that. I'm assuming money. Yeah, that's money. It's a different color, I think. Yeah, it's a different color. But... <clears throat> possible results e e plus d and d plus i'm assuming that's their grade of like writers and probably like a a plus is the best right a b c d e f and no it actually doesn't even go to f but other than that officers of dramedy that seems right i was thinking like the xena princess warrior dude xena princess warrior the show and the playstation one game anybody play that um so let's see here we have lane morris who is a dramatist i guess and breezy personality dramatist writers of this class tend to have the following strengths and weaknesses imagination is very weak the dialogue is very strong the dynamics is very strong and the work rate is actually weak you have a breezy personality which means best with fiery worst with down to earth okay then there's jackson jackson scott who is an i asked the it i asked the it what the frick is that? Writers of this craft, craft class tend to have the following strengths and weaknesses. Imagination is good. Dialogue, dialogue is very good. Everything else, dynamics and work rate, is very, very weak. They're fluid uh, personality, which means they're best with down-to-earth and worse with fiery. Okay? Then Nathaniel Gomez, who is a recounter. Writers of this class tend to have the following. Uh, dialogue's good. Dynamics good. Imagination's bad, work rate is bad. Why is everybody's work rate bad? They also have a fiery uh, personality. Very well. I better not get hit copyright with the music in this game. I will be very upset. I guess I'll find that out after today's stream. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a few of the same here. You can see the imagination, dialogue, dynamics, work rate. I kind of forgot already what is the best form of action for this TV show for a fantasy dramedy oh there we go right there they're not really into visuals and action they're more for the character the drama and the comedy obviously in the plot a little bit so we're probably going to want someone that's going to have good dialogue and good good dialogue and good dynamics not so much imagination right visuals and action isn't really part of this kind of show so let's see here let's go like this person Adeline Mendoza, who has a breezy personality. Best with fiery, worst with down to earth, though. I don't know what that entirely means. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think I might go with her, though. I do like the, uh, I do like the D. Sorry. Uh, scratch that. Rewind. I do like the, uh, the, the academic D for dynamics and dialogue. I think that's pretty good. I guess she has fame. Represents how well staff are known within the industry as well. Does she have the highest fame? She also has the highest fame out of all these candidates too. So that's good. 
wage we are automatically paid at the end of each month so she takes nine dollars a month that sounds like highway robbery so i'm gonna hire you get hired i don't know if i need to hire anybody else but it is what it is right okay you already know which one of us are money money cans pay well <laughs> uh, oh very good hey sora How's it going? It says, uh, the Little Lives live stream was awesome. I literally watched it all in one go. I love watching your videos. Way to go. Thank you, Sora. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds like you have to play matchmaker with the personalities. It seems. It seems like you want to you wanna put the right person on the job, right? Yeah. That's just a writer. That doesn't count actors, directors, editors, crews, and things like that. Now, I wonder if I... Okay, so now it tells us about characters. Okay, cool. All right. Nice. I, li I like it. Before you can create your first episode, your show will need some characters. Go to the character screens and all that. On this on the screen, you can choose whether the character is a main or support character and give them a name. And Oh, so we can give the actors a name. All right. Here we go. And I'm going to be naming them after the members here in chat. They're going to take top priority. So this is going to be great. Give them a name. Importantly, you also need to decide what character archetype fits, which defines the general initial traits of the character. When you're happy, press create and cast button. Select the level one search and all that good stuff. Um, you can scroll left and right through the options, taking into account the actor abilities, class, fame, and wage demands on each. On the right, you'll see the acting range for each actor compared to each of the traits of the character. If they overlap, the casting score will be higher, and overall, the higher the score, the better. Okay, I think I understand, I think. So, let's do it. Let's get some actors in. Characters. Sorry. Um, staff. Actors. Who's for hire? Okay, nobody's for hire. Characters. Create. Oh, you create? Wait a sec, what? Oh, you're creating a character for the show. Aha! I understand. So, who's gonna be the main character in Bella the Barbarian? What's that character gonna be called? This is for our show, not necessarily the actor. Uh, this is gonna be the character in the show. This, there has to be a main character, right? Who's gonna be the main character? Who's gonna be the supporting character for this? This ha this is gonna be good. So, let's see. The main character, so wait a sec. This is a hard one to take in, right? Do I name the character after just like what we make for the show? Or do I name the character after a member? Because this is the character, not the actual um, actor or actress, so to speak, right? Bella should be the main character, right? Okay, Bella is the main character. We will do Bella is the main character. Now, what kind of uh, character is Bella? So there's only a few things we can actually pick here. There's a hero, anti-hero, rogue, sage, villain, and a fool. Um, we cannot get these because we're not at the highest level yet. I think Bella should be the hero in this, right? Obviously, they are the hero. Uh, the hero who pulleth uh, out the sword of the stone in the anvil is right wise with or uh, right wise king born of all england thomas mallory well thank you thomas this is gonna be bella right now what is i guess bella's attributes is bella gonna be logical or emotional chaotic lawful disagreeable personable introvert extrovert conventional quirky lazy or diligent honestly i kind of like this already real life so i don't know i guess we can't actually change this no we can't change this this is what it takes so th that is what it takes you cannot change that is what a hero is okay right that makes sense okay so we can create that character create and cast or create create and cast so we'll create that character of bella who's going to be the hero who wants to be bella now there's going to be actors for this, right? I know they're playing as a dog kind of thing, but this is different. <laughs> um, okay, so we have traits, the main character going for Bella. There's Ed Edgar, Eliza, Eliza, Alyssa, Leonardo, Aria, Madeline, Rowan. Not to be confused with Mr. Bean. Uh, actually, possibly confused with Mr. Bean with that... Uh, that that suit it has to be a female right 
It has to be female. Bella is a female. So we will probably stick with a female. It has to be a female role. Right? So there's Aliza here who is a fireball, I guess. Uh, their craft is weak. Their charisma is very weak. And their delivery is weak. But their work rate, work rate is good. This person is terrible for the job. If you do not have charisma, you cannot play as Bella. Plain and simple. Arya? Also terrible. <laughs> Madeline? Very strong at the craft. Delivery is average. Charisma is also weak. You're the best one I've seen so far, though, Madeline. Okay, I think it's Madeline. I think Madeline's going to be our person. So their craft is very strong. Their work rate is terrible. Their delivery is average, and the charisma is weak. They're down to earth, though, so that's good. Bella is down to earth, technically. So <laughs> she's really down to earth. So I think Madeline Wright will probably be our best uh, character. The only po problem here is that Madeline... Madeline here, you could see on the right, you could see where these these um, these actors or actresses do their best. Madeline doesn't do really a lot here. She's not very good at being this character. So even though she's like an awesome actress as far as like all these other people, it's not going to work. Plus her fame kind of sucks. So Arya's fame is really good. And Arya actually fits the script with emotional, lawful, personable. Not so much in not so much with an extrovert uh quirky and diligent so that's good except that she has a, i mean her work rate is good her delivery is weak her craft is weak and her charisma is really weak aria is probably going to be this aria is going to be our our bella 1200 fame so people will know who this person is when they say what the heck is bella the barbarian and then 44 dollars Yo, you can actually customize what the character is going to look to. Oh, this is actually really cool. What? Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's very cool. Bella's going to have like long, dark hair with a ponytail. Oh, this is cool, dude. This is really cool. I wasn't expecting this, honestly. I was not expecting this. What kind of shirt is Bella going to have? Bella's a hero. So Bella might be spicy with that. Or Bella might like do some leopard stuff because she's bougie as well. One or the other. Oh, this is neat. I was not ready for this. Bella could have the heart too. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's do the heart one. Because it kind of like resembles heroes this ish. Yeah, kind of left hand legs. And then like super spandex, like gun at the side <laughs> pants or something. I don't know, dude. Um, yeah, of course. Dude, our, our, this, this show is going to be awesome. Give me the gun at the hip. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't. Maybe it is a gun. Maybe it's not hats oh god bella could have that no 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 bella doesn't have a hat bella's all natural back item oh oh a cape yes bella has a purple cape absolutely shoes give me like moon boots or something all the shoes are pointy give me those that's Bella. That's our main character. This is pretty sick. Confirm. Episode writers, now you're ready to create the first episode of your show. Press the craft episode button to get started. First, you'll be presented with the available writers you'll need to select at least one by pressing a plus button to the right of their details. Note that you can have up to three writers working on a single script at once, which will generally lead to better scores. When you've selected your writing team, press confirm uh, the confirm button. So we should probably hire more writers, right? Because we only have one. So there's Bella right there, sitting in the lounge with some donuts. That's very her, right? It's it's great. Um, so let's see here. Let's go staff. I think I want to hire another writer, at least, right? Have two people work on this son of a gun? 
dynamics and dialogue imagination not so much right maybe not so, well maybe actually maybe imagination would be good for the plot then now, now thinking about it Henry Hill not to be confused with Hank Hill has good fame this person has good fame too but their work rate is terrible but they're very strong at dialogue and very strong at dynamics what is this person again can I see this person you're very strong at dynamics very strong at dialogue okay so maybe we can get someone in that's gonna be like doing the other you know what I mean yeah let's do someone that's gonna be doing the other um, for instance like someone that's good at work rate and someone that's good at imagination very strong in imagination. Okay, there's one. Jackson. Uh, not that. Uh, very good at imagination. Dynamics. Okay, I like this. Dialogue very weak, but good at everything else. Hire Henry Hill. There we go. Henry Hill has now been added to the party. All right. Woo! Very cool. Miss Incredible. Okay, okay. So, I feel like we need another character, though. We need to have a support character. The supporting character will obviously be... Cans. <laughs> I am the anti-hero, or am I the fool? I would have to say I am the fool, right? This is... This is it. Ah! I have an idea. Cans is... The fool right yeah he's the fool we will search for another so for the fool we need someone who's emotional apparently and not logical all right so that's gonna be Amaya can we have a guy Drake Kelly Drake Kelly not Drake Bell emotional chaotic disagreeable personable extrovert quirky lazy okay terrible terrible and actually terrible this is a little bit better I think no Brooklyn? Okay, no, that's that's a that's a lady. Tristan. Tristan. Bella ha or Cans has to be a guy, because I mean does he have to? <laughs> Marcus Moore. <laughs> Not very good for our situation. Drake Kelly's gonna be the best for our situation, I think. His craft is good. He's very strong in his craft. He's very he's weak in the charisma department, but he's average at his delivery. And he's weak at his work rate. So I'm going to hire this guy, Drake Kelly, to play as Cans. Fantastic. You, my good man. I don't even know what to say. You have hair. Your facial... Don't even have facial hair. You fool. Actually, maybe you do. Maybe a little bit. Maybe like that. Face item? What the frick? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hit me with that. Um... Body, what am I wearing? Great question. Do you have anything just like a black t-shirt? No? I have an idea. We can make Mercy the actual, like, villain. That's what we can do. We can make Mercy the villain. Now we're cooking with ideas. Excuse me, I'm looking for just a plain t-shirt. Plain black t-shirt, maybe. This is fine, that's good. I like the pants to go with that. And the shoes are, like, Converse, too, so that kind of works out as well. Nice. Confirm. Okay, now we have a cans. Now, can I get another one? Can I get another character? And play it as Mercy. Mercy will be the anti... No, will be the villain. I beheld the wretch, the miserable monster whom I have had created, Mary Shelley. Now, would this be a main character or support? This would be a support. Yeah, this is a support, for sure. Can's the villain because he doesn't give Bella the Barbarian enough dog biscuits? Okay, now you're making good sense. <laughs> How dare you, forehead, not give me enough doggy treats? You are the villain of my life. Okay, create and cast. Yeah. Okay, now we have Mercy. Mercy is a girl dog. Um, Velma. No. Uh, Swinjold? Swin Swinhild? What the f- Brick, I've never seen that. Twinhild, never seen that. 
nickname in my entire life. Uh, who's going to be the best cast rating? Kayla Reed? That sounds like a real person. Hazel Scott? Wesley King would be the perfect villain to play as Mercy. Wesley, I feel like this could be a, uh, you know, a, this could be both genders here. Mercy is very tomboyish, too. Like, we make fun of her because she's, like, kind of like a dude. You know what I mean? She's, like, one of the homies as well. Um, I kind of like this. Let's go with this. The craft is average. Charisma is average. Delivery is very... Mercy might be, be better than the main character of the show. Now thinking about it. We'll cast Wesley. Now, Mercy generally has short hair. So that's that. Right? Do we have any short hair? Okay, no, everybody has, like, long hair in this town. What the heck is that all about? Give Mercy... That's good. Mercy's gonna have, like, the, uh... The villainous, like face mask as well as well yeah 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 mercy's gonna be dressed up all in black as well as well that's gonna be mercy okay confirm i think we have our characters for our show we've exhausted our persona points which i believe that's like our hiring of characters now we can finally create an episode right isn't this crazy how's it going cash how's it going maggie may what's going on too bad there's aren't animal actors oh that would be cool now there could be that in the future. Like I said, when this game does release on the 17th, it's going to be released in early access, so there probably will be more content in the future. That would be a really good idea, though. That's, that's a very good idea, like a, like a animal cast, yeah. Um, let's create an episode, right? Let's create an episode, and let's put both these people on the episode. Two writers, complete. All right, so season theme. So you can unlock one theme each before episodes. You can unlock one theme each before episodes one, two, three, and five in the season. What about four? Okay. <laughs> so there's gonna be a season theme here. Okay, oh my Lord. How many season themes are there? There's a lot. So there's redemption, revenge, coming of age, love, good and evil, family, loss, heroism conspiracy society guilt and rebellion what should we do for the first season how do you how do you even start the season of bella the barbarian for a fantasy dramedy don't forget it's a fantasy dramedy too hey molly joe what's going on molly joe hope you're doing well yeah hey nancy how you doing nancy thank you nancy for the wishes appreciate that Every card played adds one extra character point. I don't even know what the heck some of this stuff means. I guess this is something we're going to learn as we go. All character XP is earned increased by of by of 30%. I wonder if you do coming of age. Like, this is a story of Bella and Cans as their early days of age. And then they get hit with like, oh, at the end of the season, this crazy villain of Mercy comes for two or something. I don't, oh, actually, we don't even have persona points for that. We don't have persona points for any of this. I don't think we have persona points for any of this. Now thinking about it. So the only thing we could really get, we can't even get any, wait a sec. This better not be like, you have to purchase, continue. Oh wait, continue? I don't know what I just did. I don't, I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Okay, I I don't may oh wait season themes after certain episodes or that one I'm a little confused on. Anyways, slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four, slot five. I guess this is what creating the script. What the heck would we? You actually name the script or something? Or what do you name this? What what what, what is the name here? Script create creating a script outline. Okay, so it is the script. So you have to name the script. Each script has five slots in which you can play scene cards which represent key moments within the narrative. Okay. I'm going to pretend like we're just going to learn as we go, I guess, for the most part. So I guess you would call this a script. Um, Bella the Barbarian? Season one? Question mark? Uh, 
Uh, season one? Maybe? Or is this an episode name? Is this an episode name? You think this is an episode name? Bella the Barbarian as the first episode name, right? Yeah, Bella the Barbarian, the first episode name, of course. Or you can name it, <laughs> not thinking about it. Or you can do this. The one with Bella. <laughs> Anybody know that reference? Okay. Okay. So slot one, I guess we put in a scene card, right? So a new arrival, travel sequence, established location, friendly chat, a group discussion, a melee happens, a tense meeting, making a deal, an acute observation, or an unconvi uh, unconvincing display. I think a new arrival, right? You put a new arrival. Boom. Slot one. New arrival. Once you get to a new arrival, you establish a location. After you establish a location, you have a nice group discussion. After the group's discussion, you hit me with a tense meeting. Right? I think that's what you do. And then I guess slot five, actually go F itself. <laughs> or you could remove the tense meeting. You could be like acute observation thrown in with a friendly chat. No, no, no. Group discussion, friendly chat, acute observation. That's how we start off the first episode, I guess. So the script score would be whatever that is. That would be three plot, six characters, um, three visuals, two drama, and I guess this is like action or something, the red. Let's try it. I mean, if anything, we just test it out. Confirm. Okay, so the main character, right? Character select. So this takes you to the character selection where you can pick which of your characters will appear in this episode. Okay, so this is an episode. We will obviously have Bella be assigned to this. Uh, and then supportive cast, Cans and Bella come to the scene. Uh, with the introduction to Mercy or maybe not. Do we introduce Mercy on the first episode or do we just keep it keep it as is? Right? I don't know. What, what, what? Tinker Bella? Okay, now... <laughs> No, we don't introduce the we don't introduce Mercy yet. We leave that to be. So the first the first episode is Bella and Cans. Good. Very good. I like this. Complete. Okay. Mercy on episode two. I like the that idea. Now you got your first episode underway. To complete it, you'll want to hire a director and crew and crew for the filming phase. Oh crap, dude. A director and a crew for the filming phase. And an editor for the editing phase. This game is getting really deep and deep and deep. I'm really liking it so far. To show the overview screen, we'll show you the list of episodes of the show. Click on Like, honestly, this should be the pilot, right? We should have the pilot here. Finally, the research uh, screen allows you to unlock the scene cards to use on your scripts. Okay. So, uh, let's get a... Whoops. Let's get a director. Let's find a director. Okay. King White is a director. I wonder if there's any references in this, honestly. Conrad Phillips. Michelle Morris. Michaela Lopez. Dominic Wood. Haley Morales. Lead writer, current task. Wait, what? Tur current task, lead writer? No, no, no. Right? <clears throat> so, I think we should have a, a good director, right? Vision should be very strong, which is good. Stelling, a, a storytelling average, okay. Very weak with collaboration, I'm fine with that. Um, I don't know, vision to me, I don't feel like that's uh, really that important. Professionalism, mostly nothing really to, to come about. Um, what is this one? Coordinator, very strong at collaborations, okay, not very, really. this is storyteller. Average, very strong at storytelling, weak in collaboration, weak in the work rate. I don't know. I feel like hiring a, a very well, I guess you could say in this game, well-known director could really benefit us. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean it would be good 
for the, uh, for the, uh, for the story. I mean, look at Star Wars, right? <laughs> uh, sorry. So, I think I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. I'm gonna go with the storytelling kind of thing. Uh, maybe, right? I think so. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go storyteller compared to visionary. I don't know, that's tough though. The vision's good. You know what? F it. I'm going with Michelle Morris. A very popular director, has a very strong vision, has a very average storytelling, and is actually average with the work rate. So get hired. Okay, Michelle Morris is gonna be our director. Editor. Who's gonna be our editor? Evelyn Hall. So there's Dynamo, Luca, Assembler, and Dynamo, and Vir Vertuso. Vertuso? Vertuso? Oh my frick. Um, very strong at pacing, very strong at technical, very weak at clarity. I want someone that's going to be doing, a, like, assembling it correctly. Clarify, uh, clarity is good. I feel like clarity we should have. And pacing is average. Okay, that's decent. Joel Sanders. Cameron Clark. Average pacing, very strong at clarity work. You two are kind of the same. You all have different personalities. One's down to earth and one is breezy. I think I might go with Cameron here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Cameron. And then we're gonna need to get a crew to run the filming and all that, correct? Layla White, Generator, Wrangler. Okay, Wrangler, Generator. We can hire multiple people here. Okay, there's a lot of Generators here. Generators, technical, but very strong at work rate. Okay, good. Wrangler, very strong at teamwork. I like that. Very strong at work rate. Very strong at work rate. Okay, I'm gonna get a Wrangler in. We'll get a Wrangler in. Okay, and then we'll get a couple of, yeah, like generators. Boom. Down to earth, boom. Down to earth and a couple fireries. I should be maybe focusing on personalities too, I don't know. Okay, well, that's everything, um, right? So we have editors, directors, writers, crews, and all that, so that's good. Okay. Um, we should now show overview, I guess? Season one? Oh, crap, here we go. Episode one, Bella the Barbarian. We're in the writing phase of it. Uh, that's awesome, that's so cool to see. Financials, let's look at financials. Season payment? Episode payment. Okay, that's really cool that they did that. Year, month, season, all time. Very cool to see that as well. Research. Pick a card set. Comedy one, drama one, action one, world building one. Let's go comedy one. And comedy and drama. Let's do that. So those two are in research. The studio now, which is us, I guess. We're only level one, right? I guess level two, once we get to level two, we'll be able to add another writer and add another director as well. Okay, right. Um, another script is already being currently being written. Okay, so I think what's going on now is now we have to wait for this to be done. Um, so if we click on it, so Bella the Barbarian season one, episode one, we have the lead uh, writer, not any director on that, which we might need to assign a director on that, right? So let's see here, staff. <clears throat> we have to assign you, yeah? Work on this. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. I feel like maybe. Let's go ahead and press play with the time and see where it takes us. Okay, so there we go. They're doing something now. Now that we've actually have time going, they're doing a little bit of this. They're getting this done. I I guess maybe this is not this is not the time for director. I'm an idiot. This is the writing phase. So let the writers write. Let them do their thing, right? Okay, very cool. All right, all right, all right. Whew. Finally, finally. All right. I accept my job from a studio owner who pronounces ass the like he did. <laughs> Have you played this or something like this before? It looks familiar. I have not played this before. This game does not come out until January 17th. 
Um, there's been movie tycoons ones, there's been YouTubers ones, there's been streamer ones. There's a lot of different ones that kind of look like this. You know, the tycoon management ones. There's been a lot. Hey, Mama Kitty. How you doing, Mama Kitty? Did I not research? Oh, research card. Sorry. There we go. Spend the money. Spend the, spend the uh, tokens, right? So now we got a running joke. Perfect. An argument revisited. Drama. This is perfect. This is a perfect card to have. Okay, so now the writing part will be done here. Okay, nice. So the writing is done. So now we have to select the director, which we will select uh, Michelle Morris for it. And then we will select the crew. Obviously, we're going to have the whole crew. And then they're going to be working on it. Look at them. It's, the, it's like an episode of Cheers, dude. All right. There we go. So now I guess they are shooting. Yeah, because that's Bella. Hey, there, look at, there's Bella. Bella's right there. They're shooting, I guess, the episode, right? They have the written... Yeah, they have it. Yeah, they're filming. They're in the stage of the filming. Good, 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 good. Okay, time out. Give me another, like, give me a fantasy hit there. <laughs> the music. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. I like it. Running joke. I knew the fridge would make an appearance. Th there you go. The running joke. We're going to have to make an episode. Bella visits visits the fridge. Or something like that. <laughs> Bella gives, or Bella cans, deposits a fridge or something. <laughs> Guess whose birthday is tomorrow? Motley Joe's going to be 29. Oh, almost dirty 30. Oh, very good. That is awesome. Happy early birthday to you, Molly Joe. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Just been watching your saucy farmer's dynasty. Oh, very good. Very, very good. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a saucy time, wasn't it? In the beginning, like the first couple of hours. Okay. Now that the filming is done, we got to put an editor on. We put the editor on there. Very cool. So the editor is going to do its thing. Now we're in the editing sp stage of this, I guess, part of this. So we'll let that go through. <clears throat> Am I doing any more videos on Wildflowers? Uh, not Wildflowers. Uh, we can, we finished that game. Um, I'm not going to go back to the updates that came out because they, there's just not enough content there. But uh, Wildflowers is completed and done. And Exotica Pet Shop might come back. Yes, might. With updates and things like that because there's probably going to be a lot of updates that come out with that game uh, as time progresses since that's another early access game <clears throat> you turned 29 today too ain't worth wait today's your birthday too Almost done. We are. I guess I could like speed up the time too. We'll go like this. There you go. Perfect. All right. So, oh god, the reception for this show is a one star out of five. The show's interest is an overall indication of the cultural impact, buzz, and general visibility of a show rated from zero to one thousand. This rating falls into the five tiers as follows: obscure, which is ours; niche, average, popular, and prestigious. So ours is going to be a uh, obscure, uh, I guess, um, yeah, freaking, uh, yeah, F. Um, so we have three reviews, two fame, and one character, I guess. Uh, this is the change to overall shows interest generated by the reviews. So the reviews were gave us a little bit of interest. The fame, I guess, for the people that worked on this show or this episode season um, also gave us a little bit. And the characters. These are the characters. These are the changes to the overall show. So one character even gave us uh, more of a more of an interest as well initial viewers so initial viewers are the viewing figures from shortly after the episode becomes available to view this will make up a fair proportion of total viewership for an episode but the number will gradually rise from a time after the episode is complete and you may receive bonuses uh, related to viewing figures sometimes in the future from this uh, increase let's be fair here in real life what you see in real life is very simple you ever find your favorite show and then find it oh my god there's like you know so you hear word of mouth right word of mouth Yo, you should check out this X show. You should check out The Big Bang Theory. You should check out Shameless. You should check out, I don't know, whatever it might be, right? 
and like by the time you hear of the show they're like on season seven or season eight and you're like wow the show came out seven years ago or something i had no idea about it right that's gonna be us hopefully <laughs> So the total payment for the episode, which will be a combination of the episode payment agreed in New York contract plus a bonus uh, payment uh, currently met by the episode in any miscellaneous payments earned. Okay, so that's that's I guess our overview. It's gonna hit hard. It's gonna suck, but uh, th that's that's good. That's good indeed. So let's go ahead and hit continue on that. So that actually generated 72 persona points, which is nice. Um, 120 script points, which is also nice. So having persona. This, yeah, this is nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now that, hang on a second, let's pause time here. So now that we have the show out, I don't know if that goes ahead and uh, sees, or I don't know if then, like, that was just the first episode, and then we have to go ahead and create the second episode. Maybe that's what we have to do. So then we go into the next episode. We go writers. So, uh, yeah, yeah, probably, right? Um, yeah, I think so. That would, yeah, that, that would make sense. So then we go into the next episode. Right? We say, all right, let's get the writers selected. We got the writers. Um, then we select the season theme, I guess. Now we can select the season theme with the appropriate amount of points that we have. So, yeah, you can, you can, okay, you can unlock one theme each before episodes one, two, three, and five in a season. Now, if we were to continue and not spend our points here, I wonder if we can choose more seasons going forward. This season could be a society season, could be a conspiracy season, could be a guilt season, or it could be a... Oh no, I guess all of them here, we could choose. We have the affordability to buy any of these. Uh, we could also do a revenge season, a lost season, a family season, or a love season. I think I want to do good and evil. If the drama score of the script exceeds 10, then add 5 action points. I would like to do that one, right? So I wonder if I don't choose one yet, if I don't choose a season theme, if I can come back to this one to make my next episode, right? I think that's how that works. Okay, so then with that, we're going to do uh, the next episode, which is going to be uh, Have a Mercy on Your Soul. Soul. Have Mercy on Your Soul. There, that's going to be a traveling sequence to start it out with. And then we're going to go for a running joke that's going to hit me with a tense meeting. And I think that's what we're going to do. That's going to be our our episode, I guess you could say. So the little bit of action is the travel sequence. We have the running joke coming in uh, in the middle of the episode. And then at the end of the episode, we have like a tense meeting, right? I think that's what we do. I think that's pretty strong, no? I mean, we're, we're not very good as far as like a company goes and all the different kinds of like, um, you know, abilities because our people are not that good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and confirm that. In this episode, you will have Bella, you will also have Cans, and you will have Mercy. Bella will then eventually see Cans and Mercy, or sorry, no, Bella and Cans will see Mercy and meet Mercy in this tense meeting, so to speak, and we will complete that and go on our way. All right, so there's a character combo unlock here. Character combos, so opposing forces. Hero and a villain uh, connect each other, right? Obviously, that's the combo. Right, so this episode should be should be good. You hear it all the time when you hear like, oh, this this the 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 show starts out slow. Just give it like the you know the first season slow and then it picks up, right? We all hear that. So <laughs> I feel like that's what we're gonna have here. It's gonna have like okay, the first episode's really slow, but it's setting the foundation of what this Bella the Barbarian really is. Alright, so then we can go ahead and continue going forward here. And we'll do just that. You like the title of that? Pretty good title, right? <laughs> Virtual birthday cake was just put in the oven. Uh, over? Probably oven. We'll be done in 45 minutes, and don't worry about chat. Don't worry, chat. There is enough for everyone. Ooh, the virtual... Yeah, what flavor? That's a good one. What flavor, indeed. Take a look at the upgrades. Okay, let's see. What, what upgrades are you talking about? Take a look at the upgrades. Research? Talk about research? Are you talking about these? What are you talking about? Uh, upgrades. Characters upgrades? No. No upgrades, no? No. Oh, wait. What's the details? Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm assuming you mean research cards? Yeah. Select the set items? Wait, what? Oh, like this? 
Yo, what the frick? This is kind of cool. Okay, so now we're in the director's phase. Put the director on there. Thank you. The crew as well. Capacity. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wait a sec. Hang on a sec. Sound stage, staff room. There's like a staff room. Level one, the editor's room. And okay, there's the editor's room. Also sound stage. Okay, I see. Other things, right? What is this? Ah, the whiteboard. So you can actually like click on little tiny things here. Five points, chemistries. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Hang on a sec. Pause the freaking up. Wait a sec. So like if I want to get a better bookcase, you can purchase a better bookcase. But what does that really give us? I don't think that gives us anything right now, does it? Or does it? Script points, points, XP, and script points maybe go up? Yeah. Okay. Right. Maybe that's what it is. So if I wanted a sturdy bookcase type thing? A better econo table? I guess a better table to write on? What if I were to purchase this? Hey! Hey! Couch? Hey! <laughs> I don't know, dude. Studio level up? Okay, there we go. Writer cap and director cap. Okay, now. Now that we've leveled up our studio. I see. You level up your studio. You then get... Um, okay, you then get uh, your, your level up in your whole... Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. So... For a staff, then, if we want to hire another actor or another director, sorry, writer, we can do that. Now, hang on a sec. Let me see if I search for that. Level 2 search. We need level 2 search. We can get another writer on here, though. Writer on board? Maybe we could do that? We have to have a monthly payment as well, too. Um, a dramatist? I think a dramatist would be kind of good, right? Do we have a dramatist? We do have a dramatist. We have a dramatist, and we have a... Oh, my God. There's, we should have a little bit of like everything, right? Very strong dialogue, very strong imagination. I kind of like that. What are you? A mainstay? Very strong work rate? Average dynamics? Let's go with you. We'll hire you. We'll get another writer and another director. Having multiple directors, is that a good idea? Probably, right? I don't know. What do you got going on here? Coordinator? I kind of like that too. Let's do that. I should have had the director work on this second episode now thinking about it because that would have been good for collaborations and things like that. Editor's good. Okay, so now we've increased our crew size a bit, right? What if we were to go into here and purchase them a better desk? Okay, like a standing desk. Yeah, all about that life. Sorry, that's not a standing desk. I thought it was. <laughs> ah, the morale is different here kind of like that okay i might be spending too much i don't know where all this money i'm going to be needing it for in the future but i'm going to do a little bit of upgrades and see where i go from here we'll see what happens yeah you got to pay them bills that's what, I'm, that's what i was thinking too i shouldn't spend too much money on it right i first thought fit red was really getting into the virtual cake idea and telling me not to spend too much money on all the cake <laughs> <laughs> no, not spend too much money on the cake. Don't spend too much money here. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. Okay. Add an editor. Have mercy on your soul. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how they actually, um, how the audience receives to the second show. Now that we have the main character and the villain, it's worse than the first. Is that what you're telling me? Worse than the first? That's not good. Well, to be fair, though, it hasn't been worse than the first because the show's, um, we didn't have a lot of spots in the slots there. 
wow, I can't even see that number without decimals. What is that? Uh, 1.1 million, I think, right? 1.1 million? It looks like they are leveling up, though. These characters, too. There's some sort of level, uh, level increasing here. Okay. So, half star. The interest in the show did rise, I think, by one. <laughs> Episode two in the bank. So, now we have script points. We have persona points. We have a lot more other things. Cans. Character. Kansas character actually has a level up here. The traits available? Let's see. Oh, this is getting even deeper here. Oh, this is this is this is awesome, dude. This is really cool. So pick a new trait for the Cans character. Is the Cans character mysterious, cryptic, brave, arrogant, smart, cruel, loyal, honest, leader, perceptive, um, inquisitive, inquisitive, inquis in witty, <laughs> wise, skeptical, idealistic, reckless, cautious, uh Capri Sun, kind, mellow. Conan, performer, sensible, creative, apathetic, practical. So it says it moves the character stat one point towards conventional. So the character stat, I guess, would go more towards conventional. If we made it towards quirky, it would actually help our actor because the actor is more quirky. Can we do that? Creative. Move character stat one point towards quirky. Yes, let's do that. That highlighted green now. Right? Is that what I meant by that? Or maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have focused on one of the dots within the, uh, the, the, the blue thing. Okay, maybe, maybe, possibly. Okay, now there's a studio level up. We got another one. So staff room unlocked level one and editor cap. So editor cap has increased and staff room level one unlocked. Wait, is this a staff room over here? There's feels like there's other rooms that's gonna happen over here, right? Hair and makeup room. You have dressing rooms. Three dressing rooms, shared dressing room. What do you have this? Staff room, build. Yes, let's build a staff room. Oh, hey, all righty. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. So we've unlocked the staff room. You can unlock the hair and makeup room later on, I guess, too. Awesome. Cool. I'm going to the box office. KBO. Watch out. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Right. So let's look at research, too. We want to get another research, right? Let's get another research. I mean, actually, we'll wait on that because I want to see what the seasons we have first before I do the research. Uh, studio's fine. Financial overall expenses, overall revenue. Okay. Episode payments. We are getting money through our payments of episodes. That's nice. Uh, staff. We can add another editor. Hire another editor if we really wanted to. We can even add more characters into the into the um, show too if we really wanted to. So, <clears throat> you know, you could be like, okay, hey, let's hit it with like some like... You have three characters and then you have another character or something, right? I feel like you, yeah, you have, so episode one, episode two, little lackluster. Then we say, you know what? We create, wait, what's combos do? Combos. Okay, that's the combo. We create a character named Jackie. Now I'm going off of the guinea pigs. Jackie <clears throat> is a fool. Everyone is a god, is his god. Wait, no, we already have a fool. Jackie is a rogue. Rogues are prone to find things before they are lost. Jackie is an anti-hero. <laughs> Jackie is a sage. Jackie is an anti-hero. Let him not vow to walk in the dark who has not seen the nightfall. Jackie is anti-hero. Jackie is anti-Bella. You know what? No, actually, Stella is anti-hero. Stella is the other guinea pig that we have. Stella will be a supporting... Uh, I should have made Mercy a main character, huh? I feel like Mercy could have been a long main character, villainous type thing. 
Um, Stella will be a support anti-hero uh, character that we can bring in. Stella has to be a female, because Stella is a female. Let's do Isra. No. Who's best built for the job? Luca. Luca is best built for the job. Luca, can we dress you up as a guinea pig? I guess it really doesn't matter about gender, huh? If they're talking, if we're kind of referencing guinea pigs and things like that. Um, you're the best casting for this, and you're not that famous. We'll, we'll hire Luca. We need like white hair. Can we have white hair? Okay. Yeah, you know what? Actually, Stella would wear a, a scarf around her neck. She's that kind of girl. Oh, God. Okay. That's good, I think. Stella, the anti-hero. The anti-hero. It'd be funny if Stella was Bella's horse. <laughs> so, in real life, Stella is anti-Bella. That's just the real deal. That's just how it is in real life. Jackie wasn't... Jackie's not so much anti-Bella in real life. So, let's see here. Let's go... Let's create an episode. Let's get all the writers on board. This will be the first time we actually have three writers, I believe, right? On one episode. Then we can actually check out a theme here. Uh, good and evil, I feel like, is the way we should go. And then, uh, in the beginning of episode three, now in the season theme of good and evil, Bella meets a Stella type thing, right? What happens is we come into a you you see a acute observation? No. How do you start out the episode? Unconvincing display comes in. You see a facade. Followed up by a friendly chat. Right? Followed up by a group discussion followed up by a acute observation no followed up by an argument revisited i kind of like that an argument revisited that's how you end the episode on an argument revisited by bella meets estella i kind of like that lead writer lead writer who should we put on the lead writer for this one? We'll put London on the lead writer for this. See if that changes anything for our creativity and whatnot. We'll confirm that. Main character, you will have obviously Bella. And then you will have Cans with Stella. That's what we'll have. And we will complete that. This game is getting deeper and deeper as we go. Character combo now. Contrasting styles with the hero and anti-hero. Stella isn't like the villain of Bella, but Stella just doesn't really care for Bella <laughs> as well. Oh my lord. This is nice. Stella will steal Bella's sunflower seal. Stella versus Bella. It'd be funny if Stella was Bella's horse. You know it's gonna be a hit. You know it's gonna you know it's gonna be a hit. Can's the 20k man? Oh my lord. Hey, Susie. What's going on, Susie? Okay. Nice. Let's keep it coming. Okay. This should probably... I would have to assume this is going to be our best episode yet. Okay. One director can only go on here. Um. One director with a combo, right? Coordinator. Work rate, collaboration, yes. Collaboration. One, yeah, one with a collaboration. I would like to do, oh God, no. Did I do it? I think I did it. And then the crew. Yeah, okay. So we're working with new people here on this next episode too. So we're seeing um, if changing a few things here and there will actually help us. Hopefully it does. We have now spent a lot of money on bills and hiring people, so just, Think of that, remember that, write it down, take a picture, all that good stuff. 
<clears throat> is the world even ready for the cans only fans? How dare you? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we'll continue. Oh god. All right, get that done. Yeah, if you're enjoying today's stream, make sure to hit the like button. I would appreciate that. And if you like the game, hit the like button for the game, you know? Maybe not for me so much. Maybe hit it for the game. And like I said, if you're really enjoying what you see here today, make sure to go add it to your wishlist on Steam as it will come out early access January 17th. Yes. All right, so the editor. Go add the editor. Continue. Okay. Okay. The editor will do that and look at that this actually went back up to a full one star so now the reviews on this was pretty decent the fame on it pretty decent the characters in it pretty decent so overall we're up to 116 so we're still in the obscure like you know area we're not so much in the niche area we have to get to 200 if we want to get to that but we're making progress that's that's the key here we're making progress drama and action was at its highest i assume right there so that was season one episode three bella meets estella so very good i think that was pretty nice right except for this i think bella went down went down a thing there i don't know why but that that's that's just how it is i guess combos we went with contrasting styles with the uh, bella and stella very cool nice okay well then uh, let's see where we're at. We got our payment of 716. Now we have 716. We have a lot of script points that we can work with too. Let's go into research here and let's go research another card, a surreal sequence, and research another drama card, difficult decision. We'll do another drama card, a secret reveal. Then we go cross purposes. Okay. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Oh, those are zero. Oh, those are nice. Those take zero um, action points to actually uh, use. So that's going to help our episodes out. Okay. So now we just sit back and we think, okay, what is the next thing that we can do? So we'll get all of our writers back on there. There we go. Now we got to think of another episode. I think we have, what, 10 episodes in this season? So now that Stella has been, um, what did you say? Stella has been introduced. We can have a new arrival of even another no we can't have a new writer or new arrival of a new character because we're still in it we're still we haven't hired anybody else we haven't created another character okay so then let's hit it with a um bella and cans goes nothing <laughs> Uh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, the first thing we will do is we will establish a location, I think, of where we're at. We will make a deal. We will have a cross-purposes moment, followed up by a secret... No, no. Followed up by a difficult decision at the checkout counter. <laughs> Maybe we can get away with not established location. But we can have a travel sequence, maybe? No? No. Well, actually, plot, visuals, and action. New arrival? No. Um, established location. We'll do established location. That's good. Difficult decision at the end. Do I, hand, do I, do I say, yes, I would like to uh, sign up for your target red card or something like that? Do I do that? That's, that's, that's the whole point of this episode. <laughs> So for this episode, who's going to be the lead writer? I don't know, dude. Hit me with Henry Hill. Give me with a time we go to Target. Ah! Too many characters. Go shopping. Okay. So the main character for this is obviously going to be Bella. And then the supporting cast yours truly that's it you don't need anybody else in this episode just the two right just the two complete that it's kind of like one of those filler episodes like not much is going on but it's a little bit of ha 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 you know something like that stuff like that oh the, the zero was the level of the cards i was looking at okay 
level of the cards. That's nice to know. If you can upgrade those cards, then I wonder how, um, yeah. I wonder how that, now thinking about it, that's, I like it. I do, I like it. If I can make those certain cards powerful, it could really spice things up, right? Hey, Snoo Queen, how you doing? What's going on? Was Henry Hill in Goodfellas, right? Um, I don't know. Henry Hill does not, I don't think of, uh, of a Henry Hill. I, I, I can't, I'm, I, I don't know what, who, I can't even picture a Henry Hill. Hey, Lizzie, what's going on, Lizzie? As long as it doesn't end at a hot springs, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Henry Hill was an American mobster. So yeah, that's, that's, was Henry Hill a character then in Goodfellas? Oh, Ray Liotta plays him. Okay, I see. I don't remember the names in Goodfellas. I haven't seen Goodfellas in a long time. So for this director, um, we want to work with, I guess, Vision. And then we'll put the rest of the crew on there. They'll bust that out. Bella and Cans go shopping. Should be good. Should be fun. Right? Our payments are going down, but we're going to get paid here in a sec. Staff level up. That's interesting to see. All right. Slow down time. Staff level up. Drake Kelly. Who's Drake Kelly again? You are what? You what? 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 You are. You're an actor. Okay. You're an actor. Oh, okay. Nice. You leveled up then. Okay. Nice. Does it show what you like actual leveled up to or anything like that? No, you just leveled up. Okay, very well. Okay, work on an editor. There we go. We'll get that done. His wife was named Karen Hill. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, sorry. So our reception to that episode was, uh, was uh, we got a little bit of show interest out of it. A couple fames, couple characters, not much rolling for it. Like I said, it was one of those filler episodes, I guess. Henry Hill did the lead writing for that. Um, the plot got a high score or it got better or so to speak, right? I, I don't know. So that was that. Okay, nice, cool, I guess. Research, that's what it's all about getting more research. So let's go ahead and get more comedy. A terrible plan. Okay, I like it. Drama. Anxiety's laid bare. Very well. I mean, with another one. Worrying story and a fiery exchange. Very cool. So now in our episode, we have to think. All right. So now that we have the characters, we can bring in. Oh. I was thinking another character we can bring in. We can create another character. What is Sage? What is Sage? It is one thing to show a man that he is an, an er, he is an error and another to put him in possession of truth. Rogue. Who would be a rogue? I know who would be a rogue. Rogue, that would be Jackie is a rogue. So we're going to introduce Jackie. Yeah, we're going to introduce Jackie, who is also a support character. Let's see if we can find a Jackie here. Ooh, Isabel. Jackie. Very good on the casting right here. This will be Jackie. Jackie will have different outfit than uh, Bella. That seems pretty good to me. Jackie is rogue. Okay, so let's create the next episode. Put our writers on there. Season uh, theme, I guess. I, again, this is kind of confusing me whether, you know, is it a theme for the entire season? Like, is there multiple season themes? I'm not entirely sure. Every card with character points played has a 33% chance to increase show popularity by one. I kind of like that. It is a family thing, too, we got going on. Let's do that. 
Okay, so we have this theme of good and evil and family. Okay, so you can add a ton of themes to the show. Right, all right. So now that we have that, uh, we can start off the episode by saying... Jackie Legs. This will be called Jackie Legs. Anybody get the reference? Okay, then we will start with a... A secret reveal? No. We'll start with a... Friendly chat. Going into a... Terrible plan. Worrying story. And a... New arrival. Followed up by a... <laughs> Followed up by a fiery exchange. No? We got a friendly chat. We said, this is a terrible idea. We're going to go to Petco and get another guinea pig. The worrying story on the way to Petco is, you know, the additional cost. And then the, uh, the, the ultimate um, end of our life for guinea pigs when that time does come. And then the new arrival is exciting. And then there's a fiery exchange between each guinea pig because they're not very happy with each other. They're like, this is my place, not your place. And then they start fighting amongst each other maybe or something like that. Or they're like, uh, who's this bitch, right? Showing up to my uh, guinea pig cage. That's the episode. Jackie Legs. Confirmed. Main character obviously will be Bella. We will have a supporting cast of cans. And Jackie. Actually, no cans in this episode. Sorry, cans. This will be Stella and Jackie into here. Right? Stella and Jackie. Because that's the fiery exchange right there between them two. That's what we're doing. So Bella's in there. And Bella's like, hey, everybody, E-L-E, -E, everybody love everybody. Stella and Jackie are like, I don't know about that. We'll see. Complete it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> sage is a wise person maybe i'll make eleanor sage then maybe i'll make eleanor sage hey kitten how you doing kitten kitten says you can unlock a theme every one two three and five in the season so what about four that was four right four Four season themes? Four episodes? I'm a little confused on that still. <laughs> Guinea pigs are drama? They are. They're totally drama. Nothing but drama. Okay. Bam. Uh, actually, hang on a sec. Director for this would be... Yeah, Visionary. Complete that. Looks like Henry Hill does have a level up too. Hang on a sec. Henry Hill did level up his skills, so that's good. I should probably upgrade the staff room, too. Okay, Marl, Marl Myers, crew member, also leveled up. Nice. You get to buy one new theme on episode one, two, three, and five of the season. You do not get to buy the new themes on other episodes. But wasn't this episode four and I just bought a season? That was episode four, wasn't it? Okay, so now that we have that situated, next is the actual editing. I haven't been counting. Yeah, th this was episode four. Or sorry, this was episode five. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Red alert. <laughs> episode five. Apparently, I haven't been counting either, so don't be, don't be, don't be sad. However, this was a good episode. This was a really good episode. We had good reviews, good fame, good characters. We went up to 125 now on the show of interest. I think that shows 2.5 million people saw that. I guess, or I don't, you know, that. Uh, Bella went down, I guess. Maybe because Bella might be tired. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. 
Okay, so decent, right? Staff level up. Cameron Clark. Everybody's getting better. Stella already leveled up. That was fast. New trait for Stella. Something in the blue, right? Something in the blue. That's what we want. So, diligent. Extrovert. Disagreeable. Personable. No. Um, practical. Diligent. Practical. We'll do that. Do a practical trait. There you go. That should be good, right? I think. I think. Who actually knows? Back to our research. So that's been completed. So that helps us. So season theme unlocked. You have now unlocked the loyalty season theme. Every card player adds one extra drama point. Wait, what? Okay. Complete this too. Season theme unlocked. You have unlocked the friendship season theme. So friendship season theme and loyalty. Nice. Now we can go interactions. And... Well, can we just do that one first? In progress, interactions, action one, world building, interact, world building. There we go. Research card. Uh, yes. History lesson. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I really wanted. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so now we can do level two searches. Oh, this is wonderful. So now we can, if we wanted to, get better people in here aha uh -huh. open for hire maybe we find a better editor who's a good at assembling clarity pacing all the above very strong at pacing clarity Ooh. wizard very strong at technical average clarity very strong at technical, very strong at pacing. I kind of like that. 15. We'll hire another editor. We'll hire another editor. And now that we can search for level two th people and things, now I'm interested. I wonder if you could actually set to rest, set to rest. Can you fire? I wonder if you can fire people. That I'm not sure of. Not sure indeed. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Danielle has to be a main character. I feel like that too. Danielle's gonna be a main that's gonna be our next main character. So we have Bella, Cans, Mercy, Stella, Jackie. In steps. In step steps supporting character. Eleanor. Eleanor. In steps, El I think Danielle spells it differently than this, but Eleanor, right? Eleanor will be Sage because she wears glasses. That's what she does. She's a hairless guinea pig that wears glasses. Okay? she Perfect, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. Eleanor, she, I think Danielle, the way Danielle spells it, let me see if I can try to figure out how Danielle spells it. Danielle spells it like Eleanor or something. She has like some kind of funky spell into it. Maybe I do it that way. Maybe I do it the way she does. Hey, Queen, for 18 months, thank you so much for the 18 months on the re-up on the support that says congratulations on 20k. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that, Queen. Yeah, the so hang on a sec. The uh, these rooms you can't do. You can't get these rooms yet. You got to unlock the rooms first. But yeah. Anyway, so let's go to characters. Let's create Eleanor as a sage. Create and cast. Yeah, create and cast, maybe? Or should I not do that? 
Maybe I shouldn't introduce. No, I'm not gonna introduce another uh, another person yet. Instead, I'm gonna bring Mercy back into the episode. It's gonna be a conflict in the middle of the season, right? That's what we're gonna do. Um, Adeline Mendoza. I wish I could like kind of see their styles here. Okay, we'll put all of them on that. This will be. Conflict, conflict with, conflict with the bone, not a euphemism. Studio upgrade, staff search level one, plus one, I guess. Casting search level plus one, crew cap. Okay, that's good. That's all good stuff. Now that actually changes everything. <laughs> uh, okay, that I'll complete that in, uh, when I'm done, though. Okay, okay, okay. Um, right, right, right. Staff, actors, writers, directors, editors, crew. Okay, we have another crew available. Let's see if we can get another better crew person in here. Specialists, very strong at technical stuff. Uh, very strong at work rate. Uh, very strong at technical stuff. Very strong at teamwork. Let's do technical. 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 Higher. Thank you. Okay. Let's get back to the episode. Riders. Yes. This will be. Let's go. Like Elena Noir. Hey, hey. Um. Conflict with the bone. Conflict with the bone. Yeah. Conflict with the bone. We start the episode off with a. What would be an argument and revisited? <laughs> we started off with a... Oh, I put bone A? No, not bone A, you idiot. Bone. An argument revisited about this freaking bone, okay? Dad, mom gave me a bone. Actually, mom doesn't exist yet, but she will eventually. There's a little bit of a bone. There's an argument, okay? Right? Yeah. Uh, how dare you? Um, And then we say... We talk about no you know what hang on a sec we go we start with a history lesson as in like the history of the bone mainly brings up conflict <laughs> there has a history lesson followed up by a group discussion that turns into a tense meeting that is then done by an argument revisited I don't know about, I don't know if I like that. Take it back. A group dis discussion followed up by a surreal sequence. No, no, no. Followed up by a Okay, maybe not a group discussion. Maybe a history lesson into a into a Ooh, this is tough. Into a difficult decision. That is then pushed through with anxieties laid bare. That turns into a melee. <laughs> That's that. There we go. Okay. All right. There's no funny business in this episode. The main character, Bella... Uh, excuse me. Bella? I should have made Mercy a main character too. Bella and Mercy. With cans starred by Drake Kelly on the side. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Complete that. That's the episode. Sick, dude. Conflict with the bone. <laughs> Okay, all right, good. Let's go ahead and add, um, I think there's a combination here. So we're gonna add combo rider Wade Breaker, Baker on that, not Breaker, Baker. And then we will add Nathaniel with 
but yeah we'll kind of go from the bottom to the top we'll go from the bottom to the top right there on that okay we'll see how that goes am i able to change her to a main character the only way i'm able to change her to a main character is if i uh uh recast basically i think i don't think i can actually click on her and be like hey mercy will you be now a main character i feel like she deserves to be it though honestly hey peter how you doing peter okay finish that up this is all for one season of a damn show dude okay how did the how did that come through yeah looks good Reviews, uh, good. Fame, good. Characters, good. Even the story for the first time ever actually increased. So these are the changes to the overall show's interest coming from the story specifically. So specifically, the story has uh, played a little bit of influence on our interest. So that's a first for us. So I kind of like that a lot. Um, that's Conflict with the Bone, baby. Directed by Wade Baker and lit lead writer Adeline uh, Mendoza. I should have probably actually changed the lead writer on that one now I'm thinking about it, but that's fine. Overall, I think good stuff. Yeah, let's look at our research. We'll research interactions. This is a reunion now. Characters in drama, okay. All right. Now what we do is we complete with the Eleanor cast. So let's complete that. We'll go for this. We will cast somebody for Eleanor. Um, let's see who has the best match here. Caleb Turner. I mean, I have to hire you straight up, dude. Caleb Turner. We'll hire Caleb Turner to play as Eleanor. Eleanor is a very um skinny pig, naked pig, hairless pig that's dark as well. I think this is perfect right up the uh shoot here. Has facial hair, yeah. Eleanor has facial hair. <laughs> All right. So Eleanor's here. Character for Mercy has leveled up now. So we pick a new trait. Uh, for this, I think we should go logical, I guess, right? Oh, mysterious. Increase chance to gain popularity by 10%. Reduce XP by 5 50%. Ooh. I kind of like that. Increase experience gain. Increase chance to lose popularity by 10%, but also get experience. Increase the chance to gain popularity. Add three drama points in any script when they appear in an episode. Cryptic. Ooh, cryptic. That's perfect. I kind of like the mysterious, though. Chance to lose popularity decreased by five. Um... This is kind of cool, dude. Let's do... Mysterious? Cryptic. Let's do cryptic. We'll give Mercy a cryptic trait there. Okay. Nice. So, as far as our studio goes, um, I think we are okay. Expenses-wise, financially speaking. Our expenses are coming up. They are. Our expenses... Our expenses are coming up. The episode payments are the only thing that's really giving, getting us, like, keeping us, like, above, I guess, above head. We need to, above water. We need to be very, very careful about money here, I think, going forward. Because I don't think we're making more money. We're losing. I think we're spending more than we're actually making, if that makes sense. So, we're going to create. Well, maybe not, actually, now thinking about it. We're probably making more than we are actually spending, now thinking about it. Because we did just hire a new actor. So, that that's all right. We'll give it another run here. This will be Ele Eleanor. Eleanor? I think that Ella Eleanor. I think that's how Danielle spelled it. I don't know how she spelled it honestly. Um So we will do a first things first, a Ooh, actually hang on a sec. It will be like a reunion. This will be Eleanor. The Lost Pig. It'll be a reunion. Oh my god. Look who's here. Look who we found in the forest. <laughs> or something. Look who we found in the refrigerator eating all the lettuce. The reunion. Friendly chat. Followed up by a... 
a surreal sequence, I guess, going into a established location. Maybe. I kind of want to. Okay, maybe not that. Reunion friendly chat, established location. Three and one. Three and one. I don't think I, I can do two and two. Going into a. A terrible plan. No, no, no. Going into a group discussion, terrible plan. That's what we do. Eleanor the Lost Pig. Directed by, or writer by, written by, Henry Hill. Henry Hill's actually done us some good, good stuff, too. Okay. Main character, Bella. <laughs> Bella's in this, also supporting cast, with Cans and Eleanor. There we go. Perfect. We gotta get more characters in these episodes, I tell you what. Okay. Complete. Let's see where that takes us. Okay. So, that's good. Let's go ahead and select the director for this. I kind of want to get a new director in, maybe. Possibly. We'll go with Michelle Morris. And then we'll go bottom to top on the crew. Look at the staff. London Jimenez. Gotta level up. Decent, I guess. I, I wish it tell, told you like what was leveled up already or something like something like that, but that's fine. Continue. <sighs> Staff level up from Michelle Morris. Okay, so hit me with the editor. Good editor. I, wish, I wonder if we could fire these people. Wonder. Maybe? Fire? Set to rest? I don't know. Not sure. Okay, complete. I mean, Michelle Morris. Hey, again, level up. Good, but I don't know what exactly leveled up. Maybe skills or something? I don't know, dude. Okay. Finish it off. Whew. The best episode we've created yet i think we're just getting better and better over time naturally uh, especially with our people that are good now and they're leveling up and they're getting better and better but this has actually increased our story plus two our characters are plus one fame plus two reviews plus two we're almost to a niche uh set audience you could say we did get 205 uh payments in that so that's nice love that love that indeed do we know? It's 10 episodes, I think, right? 10 episodes? We don't have a lot of action in this dramedy. We have to remember that this is a dramedy, after all. So the characters are very important. Comedy is very important. Drama is very important. The action is not so important. The visuals are not so, so important either. Bella did get a level up, so let's see what we can give Bella here. Bella can give an increased chance to gain popularity by 5%. Five, 5%. Um, which I like. I do like. Um... So let's do that. Brave. Increase chances to gain popularity by 5%. Boom. I like it. I dig it. I'm all about it. World building. We will spend. Lore dump. Ooh. Kind of like that. Nice. This game is pretty cool, dude. I tell you. It's a pretty cool game. We're almost to level 5. In the next level, we will get, I guess, right? No. We. The next level, we will get writer's room level 2 unlocked. Ah. I like that. So we could actually kind of like, in, like make that go fast now. So if we do this, get like a better snack machine. That might push us over the, push us over, right? Very close. Very close to pushing us over. Maybe give them a better TV. This is interesting. So... This TV brings their energy down, but their morale and chemistry actually goes up. This one brings their um, energy up, but brings their chemistry down. Ah. Okay, so there we go. Studio has now leveled up. We are now, I guess, level five, right? So now we have the writer's room level two unlocked. And then the next level, we will get an editing suite. So writer's room level two. 
Miners, yeah, level two, right? No, no. Dressing room, wait, can we actually get a green screen? No. Editor's room, staff room, writer's room. So we can upgrade the writer's room for 150. It is quite a bit of money, but it might be worth it. Let's see, let's, let's, let's experiment, shall we? So we've upgraded the writer's room to level two. What does that mean? I do not know what it means. Hopefully something good. Um, writers. Now, again, can I, like, fire these people if I don't want them around anymore to hire better people? I don't know. As the season's starting to go through here, we need to start adding more characters to it. So we will need to create Daniela Garcia. Yes, it was meant to be. Okay, so we will now introduce Danielle. She will be a main character. And if I would be honest with you, I think she's anti-Bella for the most part. <laughs> um, Maybe there's two heroes? Maybe there's two heroes? Why is Bella anti-hero? Or why is Danielle anti-Bella in the most part? Because she gets all the attention. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh. Hey, Dark Mage. How you doing, Dark Mage? What's going on? Can you make a show like Home in a Way or Neighbors in this game? You can make a... You could... Well... Uh, you can make a... You can make all different kinds of shows in this game. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot. This game is really deep. Really deep in, in depth wise. They team up? Okay, we'll do heroes. I need a hero. Okay, they team up. And then there's gonna be need to be another like villain. We're gonna have to have like a main villain. I have an idea. Okay, so let's find someone that can play Danielle. Looks like Oliver would be the best casting person for this. And has a high amount of fame. I'm really not like worried about like genders anymore, I don't think. As long as you can do the job. Put a wig on you or something, I don't know. Even though I do like uh I kinda like Anna here. Oliver would be the best character. Plot and comedy. And Oliver would have very high fame. Craft is average. Charisma's average. Delivery very strong. I will have to say Danielle's delivery is very strong. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll put you in like a freaking wig or something. I'm going purely based off stats here. Actually, I don't know if I want that. Can I back that out? Hang on a sec. That doesn't feel right. Can I... Can I, uh... Can I boot this person? No? Uh oh. Maybe you can't boot this person? Once you're with them, you're with them? You're stuck with them? Yo, I wonder if you could, like, kill off characters in your shows. Right? I wonder. Now thinking about it. I don't know. I'm really not sure. Is there a way to actually show overview? Season one. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we have three episodes left. This is so cool. I don't know. I do not know if you can actually get rid of somebody. Probably not, I guess. Okay, well, uh, whatever. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and create. Maybe this is a show that has one season and that's it. Who knows? Let's go ahead and create the next episode. Let's go ahead and do. Bella finds mom. <laughs> it's kind of cute, right? I know. Bella finds mom. We get a. New arrival for a new arrival coming in with a 
a cute observation followed up by a running joke. <laughs> no, we can't do that. We can't do the running joke. I wish we could. Followed up by a his a lore dump. We'll do a lore dump into a cross purpose, and then they make a deal to team up. That's what they do. They make a deal to team up. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we'll put Bella there, Danielle there, and then I'll be like the fool on the side. <laughs> Should we put someone else on there to kind of level them up? Danielle is a very big Jackie fan. Danielle loves Jackie a lot, so maybe I like hold Jackie off to the side or something. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's fun. Let's go. Let's get that in. Bella finds mom. This is episode eight. Yeah, I believe this is episode eight. So we have two more episodes left. Um, okay. So then let's see here. We want to go with a... I think Wade. We'll go Wade. And then hit me with a best crew. And then go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay, then we'll go with the best editor. See, it's like weird to have these other editors because it's like we can't fire them, I guess, right now. Who knows? Unless there is a way and I'm just like, maybe you can't fire somebody. Maybe you can't fire the, the characters or the staff until the season is completely over. Maybe everybody's contracted to this one season, right? That makes a little bit more sense, maybe. Who knows? Baby, we get a one and a half star coming in with good reviews, good fame, and the story is starting to pick up. 152 now, we are up to. Very, very good. Bella finds mom. That's incredible. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Hooray. Now, there's only two episodes left. Character level up for Jackie. Good. Jackie got a character level up. Let's look at Jackie. Jackie's a supporting actress. <laughs> um, so let's give Jackie a... Increased persona points earned by 20% when in a character or in an episode. Um, extrovert, extrovert. Dude, Jackie is definitely an extrovert. Uh, let's do extrovert. Performer, yes. There we go. Perfect, I guess. Right? I guess. Sure, dude. There you go. Performer. All right, where does that put us at the studio? So again, we have like this upgraded writer's room. Don't know exactly how it's benefiting us, but we do have it. We'll do research. Lore dump was a very nice card to pick up there. Uh, we're one point away from actually doing interactions. I'm gonna get another world building. Environmental storytelling. Okay, maybe go for another one. A legend recounted and reminisce. Okay, very, very good. I like all that. So now we've unlocked a new theme of war. So you can have a season theme of war. Every card with action points played has a 33% chance to increase show popularity by one. I see. I see. You go action or world building two. World building two. Okay, cool. So do we invite... I feel like we get one more character in the show. Since there's two heroes and one supporting villain, there needs to be a main villain. Who's going to be the main villain? Who should be the main villain? I feel like that's what we need to do. A surprise character from their past. Oh, no. I can't do that, or I might cry. <laughs> oh, no. I would have done Peach. But she passed away this this last year, but... Dang it, she would have been a perfect villain. 
Maybe I can. Okay, I, I can do it. 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 Create Peach. Okay. Peach is a perfect villain. Peach was a son of a gun. I tell you what. Anti-villain. Main character Peach villain. Um, create a cast. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Peach. Jaden. Rolden. Rolden? Rolden. Jaden. Jaden. We'll do that. Jaden. You have anything like orange hair? Yeah. Orange hair. Or red hair. I like it. Also like it. Okay. Sorry if I'm like getting like quiet on y'all. <laughs> I just had good times with Peach is all. Um. And she definitely would have been the... She would have been a perfect villain. She was always after the other pigs and things like that. It was great. Um, it was funny. And, and, well, you just had to been there. Sorry. So, let's go ahead and confirm that. This will be Peach. Peach is the main villain. Main character villain. And this is going to be great. So, we will then have writers jump on this. It's just, yes, we will. And then what we'll do is we'll see... Reincarnation of Peach. Not the Princess Peach. Reincarnation of Peach, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So let's do that. Reincarnation of Peach. This will be a. This will start off with a. Reminisce. Start off with a Reminisce. Going into a worrying story. A legend recounted. Oh, that would be sick too. Um, anxieties laid bare. Into a... Friendly chat to finish it off with a secret revealed or a legend recounted, environmental storytelling, an argument revisited. Not too bad either. I think we go, I don't know, the legend one? A legend recounted. There we go. Okay, let's do that. Bam. I don't know where the hell this, this story, this show is going, but it's going somewhere. So Bella will be the main character, followed up by... Actually, you know what? Bella will be removed. Danielle will be the main character, followed up by Peach, supporting cast yours truly, The Fool, with Mercy getting into this as well. Mercy and Peach do the tag team kind of thing. And me and Danielle are sitting there like... Crap. <laughs> Bella's got a lot to look at, you know? Uh, Bella's got a lot to look forward to type thing. Okay, there we go. I think this is what, the second to last episode of the season two as well? $189 left, woo! That's great. Okay, me with that, like this. There we go. Bam, bam, and bam. Okay, cool. I like it. Do editors. The reincarnation of Peach. The story is so cute. <laughs> Real life, baby. All right, so how did it come through? Five reviews, four fame, one character plus, and the story also increased too as well. So the show, the show interest 
is dramatically increasing by every episode. Everybody's like now getting into it. They're like, oh my lord, where is this where is the show gonna take us? That was episode nine. So now we had to finish off with the last episode. So I feel like Reincarnation of Peach should have been the last episode of the season. I think I should have saved that one. Because that would have been an incredible cliffhanger, right? That would have been an incredible cliffhanger. Um so what we're going to do is we're going to go with create another episode. Oh, Danielle got to level up. So that's nice. Oh, traits. Traits, traits, traits. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> we'll go brave. Increase game popularity by 5% uh, like that. There we go. Then what we'll do is we'll create an episode. And I already have an idea for this episode. This is going to be the last episode of the season. This is going to be white taxes uh no <laughs> this is gonna be um shoot i don't know it all makes sense da, da, da. it all makes sense so with that you're gonna want a uh, let's see you're gonna want a we a hish no a reunion played back followed up by a group discussion followed up by an acute observation cross purpose into a difficult decision what's that decision find out next season <laughs> i don't know <laughs> something on that lines of, of that Right? Something on those lines. So the main character will be... Um... Ooh, this is tough. This will be... Danielle. Cans will be part of this. With Bella. And then... The ever so wise, me holding the Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it will be. Eleanor has some wisdom to give. And that's going to be that. That's going to be the final episode of the season, I think. There we go. Cool. It all makes sense. And I don't know what makes sense, but it all makes sense, right? Yeah. Who all, you know? Okay. Director? Ooh, actually, hang on a sec. Director should be... Uh, collabs. Yeah, collabs. Work with the director with the collab. Put the best crew on. Get it going. Continue. Whew. And we'll see where the show goes. And with the $30 we have left in our pockets, we're coming to the end of our, you know, this is the end of our contract, so to speak. Nathaniel Morris gets a level up there. That's nice. We will throw this editor on there. Nice, nice, nice. Right, here we go that finished off very 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 strong we got up to 182 almost into the niche category tier we have five reviews three fame plus one character and a plus six story as well so that was very big a plus six story that was the biggest hit to our story that we've had set uh, had yet so that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, five point four million viewers. I think that might have been the highest initial viewers that we've seen too as well. I think overall that was very good. Riley Rivera also got a level up too. So that worked out very well. I think we have something. And now we have to think about a, another contract. So Eleanor also got a level up while doing this. I think Eleanor is going to be book spark and will get experience gain uh, throughout her time too as well. So, with that being said, contract here, you can see that they are interested in for another season, for 10 episodes. Is that anything different uh, other than that? Or is it all the same contract, so to speak? The goose, my lord. So season payment, they'll give you that. You know, probably the best thing for every 250,000 viewers, you get that. Probably would be better if you had something like every 1 million viewers or something, rather. This is not a bad one. Digital 
He hedge money? I think we stick with uh, Rune, though. Yeah, I do. You sign that, you get the bonus. You get the uh, research right and all that good stuff, right? All that, and you build up and you build up and you build up and you build up. So basically, that is Bella the Barbarian. It looks like the show goes on and on and on, maybe? I don't know. There looks like there's going to be more to... What is it? Where was it? The uh, show overview. So you can see how season one went, and then you can see back on the episodes that you created and whatnot. And then you can see how season two can be, I guess, right? Um, so that's that. Changing the theme and all that and whatnot. But as far as, like, your new show, I don't know how this all works out. As far as, like, will this show ever... Uh, be something that you don't or you can't uh, do anymore will it be canceled is there some weird things going on here and something like that but mostly i just wanted to give you guys a look at uh this awesome game called showrunner yeah so that's where we're going to end it in today's stream if you all enjoyed this please make sure to hit the like button i want to say a special big thank you to the dev team to the developers for sending me a key over sending me a copy uh and showing this game off i think this game was brilliant i really think it is i think there's a lot of depth there's more depth in this game than i was really uh, really expecting there to be so thank you to the dev team for sending this over it's been a pleasure to be with you today maybe we pick this back up again when the game does fully release uh this game will be well not when it's fully released sorry when it goes into early access on january 17th make sure to add this game to your wish list um I don't know how much it's going to cost, but add it to your wishlist. I think it's worth a, worth a shot for sure. You can definitely put hours into this game and make up your whole uh, fantasy TV show if you really, really, really wanted to. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's been a pleasure and honor. I want to say a special thank you to Bradley for becoming a member today. Thank you very much, Bradley. Thank you very much, James, uh, for the super chat as well. And thank you all for the subscriptions as well. Thank you all, all, all. It's been real, yo been real i will see you all tomorrow actually take that back i will not see you tomorrow i will see you here in the next 30 minutes or so i'll see you here in the next 30 minutes 145 pst maybe 15 minutes we will be uh doing another stream so i hope to see you in that stream as well we will be doing a little bit of a coffee tycoon uh we're gonna be making our own uh hipster cafe uh, so if you want to join me, then uh, make sure to uh, I'll see you here in a, in a bit. Yeah. So thank you all and um, all that goodness. And, uh, you know, do take care. <laughs>